to show you how to make the paper flower stethoscope design. This can be made as a gift for nurses, doctors. To make this piece at home, you will need a computer or laptop, a Cricut Explorer Air or Cricut Maker, doesn't matter which generation. You will need a standard grip mat or a light grip mat, and you will need 65 pound or 176 gram square meter cardstock paper. I use Recollections brand, but it can be any brand, and you will also need a glue gun and some glue sticks. I personally like the Sherbonder glue gun. Everything that I use, all the materials, will be linked in my Amazon affiliate link in my description box. For this design, you're going to need a shadow box in the shape of a rectangle, so I recommend getting an 8x10 or 11x14 frame. You will need a paper quilling tool to help roll the paper flowers. If you do not have one, you can purchase it at www.thepapergarden.com. However, any quilling tool will work just fine. To make this design, you'll need to purchase the stethoscope PNG file from www.thepapergarden.com, and I will show you how to do that in the next video here. Grab your computer and let's get started. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to www.thepapergarden.com, and then you're going to click Tutorials, and then Digital Files, and then you're going to look for the hand-drawn stethoscope silhouette file. You're going to click that, and you're going to purchase it, and then you're going to download it immediately. And once it gets downloaded, you can open it up into Design Space. So you're going to open up a brand new project on Cricut Design Space, and you're going to upload the image that you just purchased from my website. You're going to click Simple, click Continue, and then just add it to your project. Click Cut Image, and then click Upload. And once you upload it into the project here, you're going to leave it alone at the dimensions of 10.254 and 5.759 if you are working with the 11 by 14 inch. However, if you're working with an 8 by 10 inch, please change the width to 8 and leave the height at 4.4.93. It'll just naturally stay that way. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to open up a text and you are going to type in whatever text that you want and I'm going to put or because that's the name of the client and you can put in any type of font that you would like here I'm going to choose hello honey and now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the font and you're going to orient it so it touches each end of the heart where the gap is and once you are happy with where your placement is for the name and for the heart you are going to select the name then you're going to copy it and you're going to paste it because you're going to want two copies of the name what you're going to do is you're going to select both the name and the stethoscope and you're going to weld them together so they become one piece and then this piece here will fit perfectly over top the name or and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click images. And in images, you're going to search up vine leaves. You're going to put ownership as free. And in reality, you can actually just click any vine leaves that you like. Uh, I personally think that this one here will look the best. So let's just go with this. And then now what you're going to do is you are just going to size it however the way you want it to look. So now I'm just going to copy and paste a few more until the sizing looks the way you want it. And you're just going to play around with this. There's no exact size because you want it to be different every time, so then it's creative, so each piece is unique, right? All right, so now those pieces look good, and now we want these leaves to be the same color as the name, so they both stand out together and they complement each other. So we're going to select the name, and we're going to select the leaves, and we're going to make them pink because I'm going to make them a holographic pink for the colors that my client chose. 
And then for the actual stethoscope itself, we're going to make it gold. And then now we're just going to click make it. This is the holographic gold and the holographic pink cardstock that we're going to use. I'm going to go to jennifermaker.com slash cricutflowers and then you are going to click open. So this is the file that you will see when you open it up. And the flowers that we are working with today are going to be this pink one, this yellow one, this other pink one and this other yellow one here. So you can delete all others. And then now you can play around with the different sizing and just to make sure they're all small. So you can make sure that this one here can be 3.5. This one can be three. This one can be four, and this one here can be three. I'm going to duplicate the frilly flower and the rose flower just because I like the look of these ones more. So we're going to copy and paste this two or three times. So we have different sizes as well. So let's go with two and then. 2.5 and then there will be three here and then for the rows let's go with three 2.5 and then 3.5 and then what we're going to do next is we're going to select them all and we're going to make them all the same color so that when we cut them they're all on the same sheet of paper. So you're going to click make it and then you're going to change the canvas to eight and a half by eleven and one of the flowers isn't going to fit so you're going to move it over to the other sheet and you're just going to find a spot where it fits like that and then you're going to go and grab your mat and cardstock paper and let's get started. I'm going to do this cut about five different times with five different colors because I want to have different shades for this design. For this one, we're just going to stick the paper on normally at the regular eight and a half by 11. And then you're just going to load and cut. I'm going to show you how to roll each style here. So this one here is the rose and you're just going to stick it into the tool and bring it all the way to the edge again and roll towards yourself. And you're just going to hold it so that you can try and keep it the same length throughout and then whenever there's a few petals left you're going to wiggle it out, loosen up the flower roll a little bit so you can flatten it and have it all the same. And then you're going to open it up again and glue it down. Ooh, it's hot. And then now you have it like that and you can flare out the petals if you please. This one here is the spiky flower and the best thing to do is to keep these flowers as tight as possible when you first start rolling them. So stick the flower in, bring it all the way to the edge again and roll towards yourself as tight as possible, keeping it all together. And then now you're going to loosen up a little and just flatten it until it's all even like that. And then now you're going to just glue this. And now you're just going to squeeze this like that to give it the nice round shape. And this here is the frilly flower and what we're going to do same thing again, flower through the tool all the way to the edge and horizontal towards ourselves. And 
And then you're just gonna leave a couple petals again so that you can loosen this up and then squeeze it down so it's all the same. And then the separation of the spiral is even like that. And then you can glue it down again. And then once you glue it, this one here looks best if you flare out the petals. And it's really frilly and it looks really cute. This flower type here that we're going for is this one. And this one is one of the hardest ones to roll. So what you're going to have to do is you're just going to do the exact same as we did earlier, but you have to make sure that this one rolls as tight as possible throughout the entire roll for this one to look the way it's supposed to look. Um, this one does not look good loose at all. So that's why this is like a harder one to roll. And it's harder to roll too because the petals on this one, it, you can see it's like a shorter stick. It's just like very thin, so it keeps on changing here. So I took it out early just so then I can flatten it and make sure that it's gonna be the same. and trying to keep it as tight as possible by manually using my hands. And then you can see here that it's tight all the way. You can't see through any gaps. The little beginning there is actually a little hole. You're gonna see there's a little bit of an issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tool and I'm gonna stick the tool in to where that is and I'm gonna just tighten it. I'm gonna roll towards like this. You've tightened the whole entire thing. You'll just hold this down like this very carefully and then you're going to wiggle the tool out at the same time and then you can see here that it is all tight you're just going to hold on to it very tightly flip it over and then now you glue it and there you have it you have this one the frilly one the rose and the spiky one and then for the rose too, you can have it like this for the rose buds, and you can also flare out the petals. And you just flare out one layer of petals at a time until you like the way it looks. And then you can put in both types of a uh, flared rose or just the rose buds. Now we have all of the colors and shapes and sizes, and then we can move on to putting it all together. So today I'm gonna be working on this little project here, but I can't use my glue gun because the glue gun in the glue is too thick for me to stick little layers like this on like for cake toppers um this isn't going to be a cake topper however uh if i use my glue gun you'll be able to see the glue so today i thought what a good opportunity to use my barely art glue um so let's just get started here we're gonna use this bottle the tips and the lid uh, okay, so we have the ultra fine tip, fine tip, and the storage tip. Let's go with the ultra fine tip just to be safe because we don't know how big the glue is going to come out. We're working with a pretty skinny project. Tips just twist right on to the top, just like that. Oh, really easy. Oh, wow. Okay, and then you take the lid off, take the glue off. I mean, not the glue. Now that we've done this, now we're going to put this over top like that. Like this. Okay, so usually I'd be using my hands and just be sticking this and then trying to glue it back like this, but since we have this precision tip, it's going to make things already a lot easier than usual, which is already great. So, what I'm actually going to do is I might actually put the glue on these piece the piece here first wow so the glue comes out very quickly actually quicker than I thought I don't really need to push actually I can just I might just move some of this glue and share the love of it somewhere else because I didn't expect it to come out that quickly over here Put a little bit. Ooh. It's 
still a bit much glue, so I'm just gonna dab that with my finger there because I don't want it to overflow whenever I tap it down. I like how it doesn't dry too quickly either, so I can still have time to work with it. That's what I'm noticing. Usually something like this would take me a lot longer because I wouldn't have the precision tip to do something like that. I would use like a little bowl on the side with glue and then I would grab like um, a, a toothpick to help me. But now here I'm seeing it's not fully glued down so I'm just gonna put some more glue over here. Oh, I don't like that. You don't need that much glue. Now we have that down like now we're gonna put some leaves on this baby. I wanted to put one like this. And here All right, so I cut this out here and we're going to glue this with the glue gun. Make sure the sawtooth hook is on properly the right way. And now just grab your glue gun and glue on the glue. Have this here, we can take the precision glue and glue this baby right on to it. So we can start gluing our other stuff, our flowers. So just uh, make sure again, the hook is on the right side. I can feel meaning like it's like this. It's correct, correctly oriented. And then let that tap down. Lift right here. Stick some glue under here. A little bit runny, woo. Yeah, it's a little runny, so. You just have to be careful, don't squeeze it. a good tip I guess as well just don't so I think I just need to get used to this glue to be honest and once I get used to it I'll be a pro and I won't have any complaints but I'm not gonna lie it's a little hard when it's dripping quickly it works like when you do make a mistake it wipes away beautifully like it has no issues so I'm not <sighs> complaining at all I like this like I like this glue a lot I have no issues However, if it was like other glue, regular glue, I think I'd be a little bit frustrated right now because regular glue, it would leave. And I wanted to put that one right here. And then... And there you have it. And now we're gonna put this into the frame. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye guys.